Hey folks, this is Eddie Lodger with Educated Veteran, and today we're going to talk briefly about what service members put on their resume when it comes to their awards, right? So if you've spent any amount of time in the military, regardless of branch, I'm sure everyone has some awards or some, you know, training courses, things, certificates, things like that. Good Conduct Medals, you know, National Defense Ribbon, Purple Hearts, Bronze Stars, Silver Stars. I mean, the list of, of awards and accolades go on and on and on. Um, and so a lot of veterans, when you're in the military, those awards, and I, how do I say this without making it sound like I'm, I'm looking down on or... or or I'm making less of a, of a statement about awards. Awards and, and, and honors are incredibly important. They're important to you when you're in the military, and they're important to you when you're out, and they're important to your family, they're important to your legacy. And so because of that importance, a lot of people want to convey that feeling of importance that that has to them and convey that on their resume and in an interview, thinking and hoping that the person reading the resume or doing the interview will see that equally as important to them as well. And the fact of the matter is, they just don't. Um, because when you're a hiring manager or recruiter, you're looking for a position to fill. Now, imagine, just for a minute, just think of those positions that are available that these people are looking to fill. Every position is a problem that they're trying to put somebody in to solve. So every job post that you see out there, every uh, job requisition, everywhere, consider that job post a problem that the company has. They have a problem they need you or somebody like you to fill. Now, ask yourself to say this very simple question. Will these awards, certificates, achievements that I uh, accrued in the military... Will, will those collectively or individually solve this problem that this person is looking to fill? And if the answer is no, then it doesn't mean that those awards aren't important. It doesn't mean that they don't have value. They are important. They do have value, but not for the problem that recruiter is trying to solve. When I'm trying to change the chain on my bike, I need you know, a 3 inch, inch socket in order to take the wheel off. That's the tool I need. Now, a screwdriver is an incredibly useful tool, but not for taking the tire off of my bike, <laughs> right? Like, if I'm trying to screw a screw in the wall, like, the 3 inch, inch socket is, is useless to me, but the screwdriver is incredibly useful to me. See the difference? So... So your awards and recommendations and all those things you get in the military, they are important for a specific purpose. But they're the wrong tool. You're leveraging the wrong tool for the wrong application if you're trying to include those in your resume in, in an interview. It's like if I'm cruising down the road on, on the highway and I get a flat tire and I pull my car off, it's a busy highway, and I go into the back in my trunk and I realize that I don't have a tire iron I don't have a lug wrench, I don't have a jack, I don't have, you know, I don't even have a donut, I don't have a spare tire, I don't have anything that can help me out. And all of a sudden, you pull up behind me, and you get out. Hey man, how you doing? You're a very nice guy, you're very personable, and you say, you know, what's going on? What can I help you with? And I say, well, I have a flat tire. I need to change my tire or get it to a shop or something because I'm late for a meeting. I have a problem. My problem is I've got a flat tire. I need to resolve it. I'm late for a meeting. And you tell me, oh, well, that's, that's terrible. I see you've got a flat tire. Um, but, but when I was in the Army for 10 years, you know, I got, you know, um, a letter of commendation. I got an Army Achievement a Medal with V device for Valor. I got a purple heart for an injury sustained in our fight for whatever. I took down a motor team and, uh, you know, I took out some, some enemy vehicles with, a, with an RPG. I'm like, good for you, dude. I got a flat tire. I have a problem to solve here. 
that's really awesome that you did all those things. And if this was the right time and the right place, I would shake your hand, sit down, buy you a beer, and we would talk all about that. I would love to hear it. But that doesn't help me in this problem that I have right now. So take that analogy and apply it to a job that you're trying to get. Those people have problems they're trying to solve right now. You have to convey to them that you are the solution to that problem. Unfortunately, all those medals and awards and accolades that you uh, achieved in the military does not help them solve their problem. It just doesn't. So the next time you're considering putting all that good stuff that you've gotten from the military on your resume or talking about it in an interview, ask yourself one simple question. Does all those things help this person sitting across from me or this person reading my resume, does it help them solve their problem? If the answer is no, then you should not talk about it in an interview or leave it out of your resume. Now, that might be hard to hear, and you may disagree, but it doesn't make it any less true. This is Eddie Lazar helping you become an educated veteran.